Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys the differences between Python 2 series and Python 3 series. Okay, and what is the, you know, what is the requirement to know about these two? Now, if you're like somebody who's just learning to, starting to learn Python 2, Python, okay, uh, you, you might have a question like, uh, should I choose Python 2 or should I choose Python 3? And some of, uh, some of you might ask like, why do you need two versions two pro versions in the same language having different sy slightly different syntaxes now here's the thing python 3 or uh, the python 3 series which got released in 2008 well, got started released in 2008 because what they want because what they wanted is the the developer the original creator of python language guido von Dressum, what he did is that he wanted to clean up python 2 series si 2 series and create a new version of the language such, th such that it does not have much of a backward compatibility support and at the same time uh, includes more uh, more recent developments in the p languages as some uh, as languages and support uh, and have support for unicode oper unicode operations okay now now with that idea being in uh, that idea being in the background so they wanted to create a new uh, version new uh, improved version of the same language and that's why python 3 came into existence it got released in 2008 and now we have and now we are in end of 2016 and 8 years now with 8 years has passed now we have we have several uh, late stable versions of python 3 available in the name of python 2 Py python 3.1 python 3.2 python 3.3 3.4 and 3.5 now we have python 3.5 which has got released in 2015 that's the last stable version of python 3 and the uh, another stable version of python 3 uh, python 3 namely python 3.6 is going to come in sometime soon okay i think it has already come maybe but uh, it's going to it's going to be popping up in some some time in a regular the regular stream now with that being with that being said what does it have to do with the regular user okay now, one thing is for sure, Python 2 is the legacy language, meaning the older version of the language. Now the, f now the present and the future of Python is in Python 3. With that being said, since Python 2 is an older, older series, Python 3 is a newer one. And many of the libraries that are, are available actually in Python 2 because Python 2 has been here, has, has existed for several years. And uh, almost all the libraries which are available in Python 2 are getting converted in, in Python 3. Okay, now if you look at it, almost all the packages are available in Python 3 except some packages or libraries. And uh, as far as the standard, uh, as far as the status of the language is concerned, Python 2 is very mature. Okay, and pretty stable. You have many stable versions, whereas Python 3 it's still growing, and it's and the good thing is you have a lot of stable versions in Python 3, and it's still growing. So it's going to it's it's getting mature as well. Speed wise, both the language there is not much of a difference in both the languages. Sometimes certain features of Python 2 are faster. Sometimes certain features of Python 3 is faster, but the differences in speed are not speed and performance are not that drastically different. Uh, that drastically different to have a significant uh, uh, priority over one one, lang one se language series over the other. As far as the documentation is concerned, many of the documentation is still available in Python 2. They are being yet they are all, they are getting developed in Python 3, and uh, you know in the some time there will be enough uh, documentation. As far as the development point of view is concerned. Right now, pe uh, many pe developers working on Python 2, they just uh, mainly concentrate on backports and uh, backports, ge general support, general updates, and just doing some minor developments. The last uh, stable version of Python 2 series is actually the Python 2.7, and that is it. And afterwards, I, I'm not, I, I'm not sure, you, I'm not sure you might get uh, another, one more version like Python 2.8 or Python 2.9 afterwards. Okay, but you are getting a, a subsequent uh, you know, subversions of it. I mean, slightly uh, under uh, like five point uh, seven. Like you have Python two point seven point twelve as the latest subversion available in Python two Python two two point seven. Okay. As far as Python three is concerned, you ha you're getting the support is increasing. You have general updates, and ma mainly uh, the development is concerned with uh, you know library translations, meaning. Uh, bringing back all, bringing, uh, trying to convert all the li libraries that are available in Python 2 and make it work in Python 3. 
and for the temporary purpose and for temporary reasons okay to assist uh, the development uh, assist and make sure that the developers in, in python 2 get the features on python 3 people are also working on what you call as backporting or sometimes they call as backports wherein the features developed in python 3 are implemented in python 2 directly okay as far as support is goes support goes uh, this support for python 2 will stop in some time and the support for python 3 will increase and that is the future direction of python as far as the user is concerned, uh, there is only uh, who are kind of concerning about concern, uh, concerned about what you call this converting the codes from Python 2 to Python 3. The syn there, there is only a small amount of syntax difference, syntax difference, and uh, these syntax differences can become quite appreciable in certain libraries and functionalities. But uh, nevertheless, okay, it's not they are not drastically different except in certain cases. Okay, under the hood, both the versions of the languages have a lot of differences, like how they are implemented on, lim, implemented under uh, under uh, using the compiler and using uh, Unicode under the Unicode level and some things like some things like that. I just want to keep it simple. There are a lot of nitty gritty details. So, okay, and uh, as of now, okay, there are many packages that are being converted to Python 3 from Python 2, and you have certain libraries like Python, like uh, there's a library called as 2 to 3 available in Python 3 through which you can convert your python code to python code in 2 to uh, an equivalent code in python 3 but nevertheless what i heard from many people is that though the conversion is okay in certain cases it can become a little bit tricky so manual conversion of the code from python 2 to python 3 is much preferred choices so considering all these factors if you look at it it's always it's better to migrate to python 3 because ultimately the developers are are very stern in moving moving the language in python 3 so if you don't do it and you still keep following python 2 let's say then after a few years python 2 will lose complete support and they won't they, because there will be no more upgrades okay and if there are any new packages that are developed in python 3 they will not be backporting it remember this backport option is temporary for only that is only for the time being so this backport option is gone so new libraries which will be made in 3 will not be available in python 2 after some time and uh, as of now where do we stand since python uh, python 3 is like 8 years old python 3 is like kind of 8 years old okay the major majority of the conversion from python 2 to python 3 okay especially in the terms of the language uh, libraries are concerned they're almost done x maybe some uh, certain libraries some are yet to be done but that that will get an impetus in quite some time and the people will convert it okay so as of now uh, if you're like a newbie or someone who's just learning python for the first time uh, i would suggest you guys to start with python 3 a uh, few years a uh, few years in the past if you were ask me i would have told you guys to learn with python 2 because i started my uh, Py uh, my uh, my journey in python started with python 2.7 and then i went with python 3 for a while and then i realized that i, I do not have certain options of uh, libraries in python 3 so i migrated to python 2 and then now I'm in, I'm in Python 3 and I'm being very stable in Python 3 because many of my function uh, libraries which I want to work with are available in Python 3. So I completely migrated and did that shift. But still, I just have a small copy of Python 2 because there are a few libraries which I want to work in Python 3 which are not there. So I just have a backup copy of Python 2 to handle those cases. And hoping that sometime in the future people will convert them into Python 3 and go on with it so your deciding factor should deciding factor uh, to choose by reading python 3 or python 2 as of now will be the availability of libraries the libraries that you want to work with and the documentation if these two are available in python 3 and python 2 let's say splendid choose python 3 and stick with it okay if these are not available in python 2 alone alone then go with python 2 okay start learning python 3 and uh, python 3 as well and uh, and uh, whenever you whenever these libraries get converted to python 3 convert your work into Py m migrate your work from python 2 to python 3 so that uh, you so that it becomes easier okay so that you can pass the transition okay and don't get stuck in python 2 or remain remain there remain there for a while 
<laughs> okay otherwise if you do that uh, you might uh, once when python uh, uh, after some time the support plug for python 2 will be taken off and then you know you'll be stuck in there <laughs> that's the th that's the thing and uh, this is actually the skin depth explanation of what's happening and uh, by differences between python 3 and python 2 if you guys want more details let's say more details let's say you can go to this page via wiki.python.org and here there there is this one exhaustive explanation of what is what is the differences between python 2 and python 3 like what are the differences which version should i use and uh, how uh, supporting python 2 and python 3 with the common code and uh, how what can be done if certain libraries are not available in python 3 okay like, like that like if you're just a regular user and you don't have regular user and if your python libraries are not available in python 3 let's say well the only thing you can do is just uh, uh, have hope and wait so that somebody uh, some developer work, uh, working on that library converts it and if you're like some kind of a semi-professional who's like uh, who has some developer like qualities and uh, expertise then you can start helping in the python porting process python uh, uh, programming uh, translation process wherein you can convert your convert the code from uh, python 2 to python 3 you can help people do do that do that okay and uh, i have another article over here here in this article by St sebastian rashka okay uh, which is quite old this is written in 2014 but nevertheless this is really helpful if you're like a beginner okay there would there be a lot of the here the person has described quite a lot of ex different uh, differences between uh, python 2 and python 3 in the syntax point of view okay here the, has the person has covered the differences in uh, the print print statements the integer division operations the unicode unicode features some of the functions that were that is available and that is not available okay and in the same page in wiki.python.org if you click if you click these lines over here there it will redirect you to the documents page in the uh, in that website python.org wherein you can get uh, all the nitty gritty details about the differences differences and new features in python 3 and uh, there is this article in uh, learn to code with uh, learn to code with dot me okay and written by who is that yeah uh, uh, this person named lawrence Bra bradford uh, lawrence over here she has um, okay she has given this entire article explaining some of the basic uh, fund basic reasons uh, and basic difference is the overall picture of uh, python 2 versus python 3 by looking at the looking at the differences from both of both the points of view this is actually a small a simple article people can you can just breeze th breeze through this article in a matter in a two in two in a few, in a matter of 5 minutes but explanations are pretty good the simple explanation is very simple and uh, straightforward straightforward and uh, and the final verdict from final verdict from many of the people uh, people are as follows since the development path is in python 3 and there will be and python 3 is like a revamped version of python 2 with all with the improvements in the language from the under under the hood as well as on the top on the top level okay ha migrating to python 3 is actually better because python 3 will be in support and if there are any uh, problems in python 2 it will be rectified in python 3 and it's been do doing it's been doing that then that process does happen okay so for that matter and to get best best benefits out best benefits and best performance i guess it is mandatory for people to, uh, slowly mandatory for people to migrate to python 3 okay so if you're a newbie stick with python 3 learn python 2.2 series only if your libraries are stuck and if you're like a regular user like me okay who uses who uses python for you know some scientific applications or uh, scientific applications of a data analysis related work okay pick the library um, choose the version such that uh, you can get the best out of the best out of the language okay and be ready for the and be ready for the transition whenever uh, whenever your work is and, and whenever your libraries are being ready in the other python 3 okay that's all i have for you guys in this one thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later in another video